Ooh, hooray, you came back. You really like me, don't you? Well, okay, so jumping right in, we're gonna use these buttons on the right side of the screen to position our objects so that we can actually see them properly. So the first thing we're gonna use is called the resize button, resize objects button. And what that does is it allows you to make an object bigger or smaller. And what I want you to do is shrink your Humvee down small enough so you can just see the feet of our astronaut. And then what I want you to do is click on this small button here with a white arrow that looks just like your own mouse arrow. Click on it. And so we can now we can move our objects freely around the world. And I want you to click on the Humvee and move it to the left side of the screen. Whew, now the astronaut can breathe. That is if his or her suit is functioning properly, but that's not an Alice thing, that's a... Anyways, so we moved the Humvee to the left and we moved the astronaut over to the right. So now your screen should look something like this. And if you mess up, if you move, you know, you get stiff-handed and you accidentally move your Humvee somewhere, you don't want to move it, like, off the screen, there's an easy way to fix it. The undo button. The undo button is your friend. You just click on it, and it brings you back to where you want to be. So, remember, like what I told you last video, do not touch these do not, do not, do not touch these arrows until I tell you to. And right now I'm not telling you to. So if you mess up, just use the undo button. Okay? So the next thing that I want you guys to do is check to see if the Humvee is actually touching the surface of the moon. Because you can't really drive if you're not on the ground. So we're going to click on this button here that says move objects up and down. And that allows you to move your object up and down, just like it's labeled. Up, down, up, down. But in order to see if the Humvee is actually touching the moon's surface, you have to look very closely at the bottom of the wheels of the Humvee. See, the, <laughs> the wheels are halfway through the surface of the moon, so that's not right. You just want to see, wait and see until this yellow box that appears is just, just touching the moon touching the ground. And I want you to do the same thing with the astronaut. I'm going to lift him or her up just slightly so that he or she is just touching the surface of the moon. <clears throat> Remember again, if you mess up, just use the undo button. Now the next thing I want you guys to try is using the spin button. It allows you to turn your objects left and right. Left, right, spin around, up and down, spinny, spin, spin. But make it so that the Humvee is parallel to the screen. You know, facing the left, parallel to the screen. Your screen should look something like this. It doesn't have to be exact. Something like this. And then the other two buttons I want to tell you about are the button that allows you to move an object forward and backwards, and the button that allows you to tumble your object. We don't really need these but right now, but I'll show you how they work. The forward and backwards, just like what it says, you can move your object forward or backward. OK, so we're just going to undo that to get the astronaut looking like it was a few seconds ago. Next, the tumble button, if you click on that one, allows you to pretty much move your object in any direction. It's a combination of the spinning left and right button and the forward and backward button. So you can, you know, do whatever. Yeah, cool, right? So anyways, so that's how that works. Just want to keep undoing until you get back to the starting position. 
So now that we are done positioning the objects in the world, we can start learning how to animate the characters and make the story actually happen. So stick around and I'll show you how to use some methods. Ooh. See you soon.